Hi, my name, my name is, Ma I can hear you now, yeah. Thank you. My name is Michael Mazaris. I would like to speak to reducing the levels in safety code six. For my presentation, I would like to ask two questions. Firstly, can we agree that safety code six levels desperately need to be lowered? And secondly, can we agree that the bioinitiative report exposure levels are designed to truly help Canadians maintain and improve their health? If I turn to page two of safety code six, at the top it says, Health Canada is the federal department responsible for helping the people of Canada maintain and improve their health. I would like to suggest that this be the common ground of all Canadians, the government and the Royal Society of Canada. Don't we all want to help Canadians maintain and improve their health? So the question is, is Safety Code 6 currently helping Canadians maintain and improve their health? After four years of 150 microwatts per meter squared across my bedroom from a cell tower on a nearby hospital, which is 100,000 times lower than safety code six levels, I became hypersensitive to radiation. The hospital at the cell tower was on couldn't protect me, even though it was hurting their staff as well, because safety code six was flashed in the face of their facilities manager. The local government could not protect me or the thousands of others who complained about cell antennas because safety code six was slapped in the face of the local government as the only authority for radiation health. Industry Canada couldn't protect me even though thousands of people complained to them because Industry Canada deferred to safety code six. The Cancer Society couldn't help me because in their voluntary surveys of cancer patients, they don't ask about the presence of low-level radiation sources in people's lives to research these causes of cancer. Why? Because Safety Code 6 incorrectly states to them that it is impossible for low-level radiation to cause harm. If I look at Health Canada's own research, it is only for two hours of exposure, 24 hours of exposure, nothing longer than a few weeks, and certainly nothing longer than four years. This no evidence of harm studies are on healthy bodies receiving radiation for less than a few weeks. In contrast, cell towers typically cause cancer between five and 10 years of exposure. And after this exposure, these bodies are no longer healthy to resist more exposure. Safety code six is based on six minutes of exposure. That's 3.6 million times shorter exposure than what is harming Canadians. So how can Safety Code 6 speak against low levels of radiation periods of time? Research is being stifled because Safety Code 6 is in denial. In fact, Safety Code 6 is not only in denial, it is stopping those who want to research. This standard in its current state is undermining Health Canada's responsibility to help Canadians improve their health. It desperately needs to have its levels lowered. And my experience is from one who realized it was the low levels of radiation that caused the illness. Many people don't know. They trust Safety Code 6 and don't understand why they are suffering. They don't know that the radiation from their cell phone being on at night is what is disabling them from sleeping, even when the phone doesn't ring. They don't know that the Wi-Fi at work is what is increasing their allergies, disabling them from exercising, and giving them headaches. When they unplug their Wi-Fi, their headaches finally go away. When they power off their cell phones at night, they finally sleep better. Can we agree that safety code six levels need to be lowered? I am a professional engineer with a master's in engineering see the top marks in the master's program I was in. With objective radiation meters and experienced health professionals, I have calibrated my body to be objectively aware of what it is telling me. From experience, it's between what is real and repeatable and what is one's imagination. So I would like to put on record that the placebo effect argument is out of context and is smoke and mirrors. For thousands and thousands of people like me, 
Safety Code 6 is the reason for them being in ill health. Safety Code 6 is causing harms, harm to Canadians. So what protected me? The Bioinitiative Report. I bought meters and shielding, hired experts, and tried everything reasonable, and ended up moving to an area that was within the Bioinitiative Report levels. It was then that my health stopped plummeting. The Bioinitiative Report levels enabled me to maintain my health. It is these levels that are helping Canadians to maintain and involve. These should be the new levels for Safety Code 6 because they are fulfilling Health Canada's mandated responsibility to maintain and improve Canadians' health. I'd like to take a moment and comment on the dissymmetry models that I've seen. In terms of the mandate of improving Canadians' health, the dissymmetry in SAR modeling appear to have some serious deficiencies. These areas that, that they are um, Three areas that they are not being measured are repetitive strain, electrical stress, and impacts on other biological systems. For the sake of time, I've included further explanation in my submitted written presentation. The Bioinitiative Report resolves these problems by measuring the electrical density in the air outside the body, and so maintains safe levels for all the complexities of the various biological systems and electrical stresses within the body. Safety Code 6 itself states that Safety Code 6 is, quote, not intended to be used as a product performance specification document. The goal must be, quote, maintaining and improving Canadians' health. Please consider these serious deficiencies in these dissymmetry and SAR models' ability to assess the real impacts on Canadians' health. As a final note, I would like to also point out that since the last edition of Safety Code 6, electrosensitivity has now been recognized as a disability under, under the Canadian Human Rights Act. This is now the law. Now more than ever is the time to show that the Royal Society of Health is not discriminatory against people with electrosensitivity. Now is the time to change safety code six. Now is the opportunity to use the bioinitiative report levels to protect Canadians. Let's rise to the occasion and help Canadians maintain and improve their health. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any comments from the panel? Any questions? Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Mazaros. Thank you.